Hello everyone and welcome to Cloud EML. So in this video, we are going to discuss about one of the interview question which was asked in Tech Mahindra. So this interview question is uh, pretty uh, simple, uh, but then it requires a very good and solid understanding of the self join to understand how uh, to, to make sure that you are able to get the proper results. So in this case, we have this question that refer to the below table and write an SQL query to return the person with their uh, or the person with their living grandfather. So means you have got this table where you have got the name of the person, name of the parent and status of the person. So you have got the person named P1 whose parent is P2 and his parent is alive. The point is not to get the parent. The point is you have to get all the person who are staying with their living grandfather or who has a living grandfather. So it means that if P1 has a parent P2 and P2 has the parent P5 who is alive, that means P1 is a person who has a alive grandfather. Similarly, if P3 is the person whose parent is whose father is P4 and P4 has the father as P6 who is alive, that means P3 is also a person who is who has the living grand or alive grandfather. Similarly, P2's father is P5 and P5 has his father as P7 who is also alive. So you've got P2 also as someone who has got their alive grandfather. So you have to create the uh, solution in such a way so that you can get this alive grandfather and not the dead grandfather. So I hope we are clear with this question. Now, before we go to MySQL Workbench to start solving this, we will again start, we will again discuss this first in Excel and then we will go to MySQL Server. So in this case, I have created these two tables. So consider that this is the person table P1. This is the person table P1. I'm highlighting it in yellow. And this is the person table in P2. This is the person table P2, which is highlighted in blue now since we have only one table we have to do a self join that is why we i have written both of this table here this is p1 and this is p2 table p1 and table p2 now what how do i get the grandfather so to get the grandfather what i am doing in this case i'll take i'll take the parent from p1 I'll take p1 dot name of parent and I will use this to join p2 dot name of person. If I'll join these two, I'll get the grandfather easily. I'll tell you how. So if I say I want to join between by p1 dot name of parent. So in this case, it is p2 to P2 dot name of person. So I want to join the second column of this P1 table with the first column of this second table. So in this case, if this is P2, this P2 will match to this row here. And in this case, I can write this P2 as this. This is the P2. This is the P2 one. And I, I can highlight it in uh, yellow. This is P2. This is the first row where you are using this and now this is the blue row which is from this p2 so you are matching this p2 with this p2 so how you are getting this table in the the format of table becomes p1 is person obviously name of parent i have just converted the name of person to father so this is the person this is the father this is the status of his father then this his father p2 also has a father who is the grandfather for P1 and whose status is this. 
again guys the this requires practice of course you can think you might think that okay let me join the name of person with name of parent this is also this is this is this is also the this is the also one way to do that okay or else you can also think of joining name of the person with this name of the person this is this is the but this this the third way will not yield a good result because in this case every one will join by one and it will it will it will just give you a combined table nothing else so either you have to choose name of person with name of parent in p2 or in p1 you have to use the second column and join by the first column both the way is okay for you to do that okay so this is how we will do it now again p4 P4 has to be joined from this first column here. So P4 is this and it is also a line. So you see P3, P4. So P3 is a person who has a father P4 and P4 has a father P6. And P6 is a grandfather for P3 who is alive. So similar, you will get this four rows here and then you have to simply select or filter out this dead one using a where clause. I hope the logic was simple to you. So let, let us write this now. Let us try to write this. So first thing what I'll do, I will say select star. Let me select the entire rows for first, entire column. Select star from people p1 join people p2 on on what p1 p1 dot name of parent is equal to P2 dot name of person. If I just execute this query here, look at this. You have got this four rows. And now you have to simply filter out this. So what you can do in this case, where P2 dot status of the person is equal to alive. That's it. That's what I have to do. And in this case, you can look, I have got all this three alive. And now I can simply say that I want the name of the person and name of the uh, grandparent and the status let's say so i can say instead of select star i can say p1 dot p1 dot name of person you have to select that as person okay then then what you can do then you can select p2 dot name of parent as grand parent and finally p2 dot status of the person as status that's it you are done so now if i can just close this off look at this query now you have got this person this has this grand, uh, he has the grandfather parent, and this is the status. So, 
the question was simple but then you had to have this solid understanding of really solid understanding of self join how would you join so i hope you like the solution and if you like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you